In this video, we're going to start looking at related rates. And related rates is when two things are happening uh, that are related to each other, and you can use that information to find other pieces of missing information. So take a moment and read the problem, please. Thank you. So we always take the same approach on these. We're first figuring out what it is we're trying to find. Then we want to write out what we know. Then we're going to need a formula. Then we're going to take the derivative of that formula. And lastly, we're going to plug in. Now, the problem that most students have with related rates is they try to plug in values too soon, and that gets them into trouble. So remember, you only plug in values after you take the derivative. So in this particular problem, uh, what we're trying to find is how fast is the area changing? Well, a rate of change is a derivative, so we're trying to find dA dt, which is the change in area with respect to time. And we're doing it at a particular moment, and that's when the area is 25 pi feet squared. So at the area, 25 pi. Now, we're staring at what we know, and we're looking for a known rate of change. And we find that the radius of the circles is increasing, so that means it's changing, so that's a rate of change at 2 feet per second. Well, a rate of change, again, is a derivative. And since that's radius, that's dr dt, so the change in radius with respect to time. And that's 2 feet per second. Now, because the circles are radiating outwards and are increasing, that's going to be a positive 2. Some problems, uh, the rate of change decreases, and you'd get a negative. Now, your formula. Well, we're talking about a formula for an area of a circle. So that would be the formula a is equal to pi r squared. Well, now it's time to take the derivative. So the derivative of a is dA dt, derivative of area with respect to time. Pi r squared would be 2 pi r. Now, this is implicit differentiation because we have two variables going on. So when we take the derivative of r, we're going to multiply by dr dt. All right, so after the derivative is the time to plug in. So let's start plugging in some known values. We know that area is 25 pi dA dt. Uh, is what we're trying to find. We know area is 25 pi. So with our area function, we can go 25 pi is equal to pi r squared. Well, so that makes r squared equal to 25, r being 5. So we come up here and we go dA dt is equal to 2 times pi r is 5, dr dt is 2. So that makes dA dt 20 pi, and since it's area, it would be feet squared. Notice in this particular problem, we did have to plug in to find r. 